Hello friends, welcome back to our channel Network Tips Starting. So today I'm going to show you how to configure SD WAN uh, on FortiGate firewalls and also I'll uh, give you a demo like uh, how to do a path manipulation for uh, some kind of traffic for example YouTube should go via one interface and the other SSL browsing traffic should go via other traffic so without wasting any time let's get started so this is a 40 gate firewall let me quickly log in okay so i'll make this full screen for you to make it easy so this is my dashboard and this is a vm firewall and it is running the evaluation license which has a limitation of only 2 GB RAM so let's quickly show you the network interfaces first so as of now I have two interfaces connected to my actual router the home internet router and they are in DHCP and port 3 I'll be using as a LAN connection for the testing PC so let's start configuring the ports first and then I'll let you know how to okay so I'm giving it as a ATL internet and defining this role as a WAN zone right now I'm not uh, defining any estimated bandwidth allowing this thing done so my port 1 will be considered as a Airtel internet and my second port will be considered as a Tata for an example let's give it as a Tata both are on the DHCP which is directly connected to my Wi-Fi router and third port I'll use at it as a LAN internet connection for the testing PC uh, I think I'm not wrong port 3 give it a edit define it role as a and I will internal network right now I'll give this a manual IP address range of 10.1.1.1 slash 24 and also I will enable the DHCP server so that when I'll connect my testing PC it will automatically get an IP address starting from 10.1.2 till 10.1.1254 so let's see and enable these ports so right now i have two ports for van internet connection one port is airtel and the other one is tata the third port will be the internal testing pc so let's quickly go and enable a firewall policy right now i have only one policy which is denying every traffic coming to the firewall so let's create a internet access policy internet access policy for everyone so when traffic is coming from the internal zone like the internal port port number three it should go out via uh, let's configure consider it should go via SD WAN traffic zone only I'll configure it later on but as of now I'm just creating a policy which will uh, intercept the incoming traffic on port number 3 and will move it out and uh, going out to the internet through virtual van link zone will allow this traffic so source and destination will be as of now all and all services all so that we can test the internet whether it is working or not so let's see everything uh, services should be all that's it okay so this is our policy which will be used for internet access i'll quickly go and uh, create the virtual van link zone i'll edit this and add both the interfaces over here so right now we will go and create interface airtel to be on the priority number one And also on priority number two, I'll keep the data link. Done. 
so we'll add the member over here as well so now you can see both the members are here and as the priority for Airtel has been given on one so most of the traffic will be taken on port number one and then on port number two I'll come in to it a little bit later so let's go back to the policy so till now what I have done is I have created one internet policy to allow internet access then I have created three interfaces one two three and then I have created the SD WAN zone as a virtual WAN link so let's go to the testing machine first let's check how the internet access is happening so as of now you can see so I have not defined any SD WAN rules as of now everything is allowed so let's go back to the machine testing machine this is my Ubuntu first I'll show you that it is connected to the port number 3 of the firewall so I'm in the networks it is showing as a wired internet connection and as I have defined in the DHCP server of port number 3 on firewall it is getting an IP address of 10.1.2 with the default route of 10.1.1 so let's quickly check whether the internet is working on this particular machine or not we'll open the firefox so let's go and let's open the google.com first or youtube anything anything you can open YouTube is opening it's not showing anything because I have not searched anything on that but we'll go and test this as well meanwhile I'll just show you the logs of the firewall that we, it can be checked from here only forwarded traffic so this is the policy ID which we have created for the internet and let's search for the YouTube Here we go. So this is the traffic coming from my local testing machine and going out to the internet. So now what I'll do is I'll create a SD WAN rule for YouTube and normal SSL browsing. So let's go to the SD WAN again and go to the SD WAN rules and create new rule name it as a uh, YouTube like I want the bandwidth consuming uh, traffic to go through port number two and rest everything through port number one so this is the address which I have already created you can create from here I'll show you how to create it just name it as anything like Twitter for a change and just put the twitter.com that's it so this is how you will create an address over here but I am creating it for the YouTube so I have selected it as a YouTube source will be you source will be sorry anything coming from any anywhere in the LAN network and going to Twitter destination will be my Twitter, uh, YouTube and manually i want this traffic to go out via port number two i'll also create one policy for internet ssl like my browsing here as well coming from anyone everywhere to everywhere now I'll give it as a best quality. Best quality measured SLA will be Google DNS and click OK. 
था Will measure for both and hit OK. Uh, just remove the so right now I have both policies and it is already showing one hit count as uh, VM was running over there. Let me just go back. So we'll close the browser completely and I'll show you, we'll refresh it again, give me a minute. So right now we are seeing the hit count of 3 and 54 which means my internet traffic is going via this policy but my YouTube will go only via this. So let's check this out. So as of now you have seen that it has a hit count of 3. So let me open YouTube again. So the hit count on that policy should increase. So we'll try to search anything. Here we go. Let's open our video only. recent video I'll play and let's go to the policy so we'll go and see this so hit count is increasing over here and when we come over here and see so our port usage is getting increased so this is how you can define various SD WAN rules related to your bandwidth consumption, related to your audio video conferencing or just for your mission critical applications. So just try and play with this and if you have any question I am really really happy to answer you. So that's it for today's video. I will come back with more such videos and soon i'll be starting the troubleshooting guide for the palo alto firewall so stay tuned to our channel and if you like these type of videos where uh, short content or the quick configuration guide is required i'll be happy to provide you that as well just comment on the youtube and uh, yeah sure we can connect and then we can discuss it thank you so much Please do like, subscribe if you really like the channel and content. Thank you so much. Bye-bye.